Infliction, ladies and gentlemen, fight number one. In our blue corner, please welcome Taven Martin Ryle. Yeah, we are never ever going home tonight. Ain't nobody kill my fight. Don't tell me that. We'll just and try that. He's playing in the red corner, Bryson Irvine. Round one. Tavian in the blue and Bryson in the red and it's started out like a house on fire. Skipping in is Tavian but Bryson fighting nicely off the back foot there. Finding his shots. And he goes from picking the shots to just throwing a couple of randoms out. Big knees, heavy knees. Outside thigh. Outside leg. Tavian has Bryson in the corner, but Bryson counter fighting nicely out of that corner. He just needs to turn, which he does now, but easily turned again and some nice kneeing from the lad from Crittenden. Beautiful outside kick there to the body. Spinning elbow attempt from Irvine. Martin Ryle doing a great job but then copying a receipt. Beautiful knees there. Tavian Martin Royal. I tell you, the bloodshed kid is tough. He has been kneed from pillar to post. And he's red and he's sore. And as you can imagine, he's gasping a little there. But he makes it through to that first bell. Checking out the highlights of that first round for AHI, the Gold Coast Premier Marine Mechanical and Engineering Company. And it was Tavian pressing the pace and catching his opponent on the way in, but some great counter fighting from Bryson Irvine. Got him through the round and then late in the round, the knees were just flowing from Martin Ryle. Let's see there, just pinning it up. Seconds down. Round two. Round two, this one. Mon Maguire joins me ringside, and it was a very good start from both boys. Well matched, and 15, 16 year olds. Yeah, scary. That's grade 10. That's crazy. Outside kick there for Irvine. He's really got to be first. He's counter fighting well, but you can see how marked up he is across that middle section, and that's because Tavian Martin Ryle has been kneeing like a sewing machine. <laughs> He's just been <laughs> out of control. You see again, he gets the man Ooh, where he wants Spinning him. elbow. He's tried that a few times, but. As you know, if you close the distance on that defensively, you can really negate its power. For sure. And while these boys are only uh, 15, 16 years of age, um, the reality is sometimes kids jump into combat sports from a young age of five. They could have, they could have up yeah. to 10 years of experience behind them. Absolutely. Um, we just don't know. And there are some kids that are just freaks that rock up at a gym and, you know. 100%. I remember a 14-year-old Benny Marnie. It's like he's been fighting for 20 years when he walked into the gym. <laughs> Still looks 14. 
baby face assassin that one. Especially now he's got fancy hair. Oh yeah, now he's got fancy hair. Don't even get me started. He was handsome enough. I mean, make it fair for it, please, Benjamin. <laughs> uh, coming to the close of this second round. And again, the strong knees there from Tavian martin Roll. That'll be really pleasing the corner of Crittenden. It's really good to see the boys finding themselves in the clinch as often as they do. So often um, we get caught up in just trying to strike, um, but Muay Thai is predominantly clinch work. You head over yeah. to Thailand and they spend so much time in the clinch, yeah, but yeah, that yeah. is so hard. It's not uh, kickboxing. That's not kickboxing, that's right. But uh, holding someone else up or you know, muscling over them in that clinch really draws the energy out. I was just notice a really clean knee come through um, in that corner just yeah, there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's been great kneeing there. And Mon, you're absolutely right. It's great to see 15 year olds prepared to do the arm wrestle, which is, you know, the beautiful and unique part of of this out, uh, of this art. Well, so we head to the AHI both highlights. Uh, they're both really high high caliber uh, gyms they're working out of, so it's not surprising they're yeah. technical fighters. And that's the best thing about getting kids in sport young. You teach them the right way, and they become brilliant well, see, technicians. All of a sudden, your kids are weapon. Yeah. We see on screen. I don't want to clean my room. Get stuff. Um, please. Yeah, get yeah. stuff, please, Mum. Yeah. Thank you, that, uh, my mum claims that all the time. I started uh, karate when I was 10, and she would forever say, um, oh, I say, Monique, can you please clean your room? I'm like, Mum, you don't even say that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how it does it. And I, I tell you, those knees have got to start taking somewhat of a toll on Bryson Irvine. He's, look, he is a... Look, he's a fair-skinned kid, but he's marked up, we can see from our commentary. Uh, yeah, uh, across his back, even from the clinch, the gloves rubbing. Oof. And again, these two are just throwing caution That's on him. across the that ring. Beautiful push kick and follows it up again. It's a Good head control and throwing that knees. Defensive and offensive weapon at the same time. Looks bigger, does Tavian martin Ryle. Certainly looks bigger. I can't believe it. These boys are really relatively inexperienced fighters. One and three fights each. But how good for them, though, to be yeah. on a main card that has international fighters and, you know, to be on the Infliction Fight Series, beamed around the world. Throwing elbows. Throwing elbows and dropping knees like a boss. Get to work. That's some great technical um, clinch work there. That grip around the back, locking uh, the wrist. It's a very superior technique. And that's what you get, as you say, when you're at a quality gym. Oh, what, an el what a knee from Ivan. Irvine, sorry. You could call him Irvine, you don't know. You don't. Bison kids, even. Other, other kids could call him Irvine. Yeah. yeah. Not long to go, surely, in this round, folks. Skipping in tight is Tavian, but landing, more importantly. And it just seems that Bryson Irvine is so good on the counter, he almost needs to get hit before he reacts. And it, it's just a, that's not always a great strategy. <laughs> See what, they do a pretty good job, Sting Sports, of designing those, uh, that headgear to stay on. And remember the old ones, the Madison ones and whatever, you get hit by a fly and it's been upside down. So <laughs> have about 18 rounds of tape on your head by the end of the fight. Yeah, for sure. 10 seconds to go in this round of charging. Well, forward. spinning elbow! Beautiful staff and lovely <laughs> right hand from Irvine off the nice black. Great gentleman. To, to end the round. Dwayne's not happy, the CEO of Bloodshed. It's not often you see a Bloodshed fighter get out clinched, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Good call on that. we final round highlights. So young Bryson's favourite fighter is Alfie Smith and I was just looked over and Alfie's in his corner. How cool would that be? That's pretty awesome. Love to see him back on Infliction sometime soon. You're the boss lady, make it happen. Yeah, for sure. Young And Alfie's only a young fighter himself. Just a fantastic ambassador for the sport, that kid. Yeah. Great to watch him fight. He's humble. He'll take anyone. Yeah, he's... Uh, we. It was about 12 months ago, he was over in Thailand fighting on the Infliction show in 100%. Thailand yep. in Lumpini Stadium. I remember hosting the uh, client and family day for that at a pub here on the Gold Coast. And that was great to watch. What a day. Um, 
Chad Collins got the worst decision I've ever seen in my entire life. Was it Chad? Was yeah, it? it was Chad. Someone was daylight robbery, but um, yeah. well, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our young well. fellas. Let's set up a big day for a decision. We're going to have Chad um, go to in the house later tonight as well. Three We're going to come on commentary. We have a unanimous decision, and it goes to the blue corner, Tavian Ryle. As expected, folks. The Matrix takes the win. Yeah. Quick word from one of our...